Welcome to Retrobot, the YouTube channel where we feed a friendly space robot a diet of pure nostalgia. I'm Clay, and today we're taking a bite out of one of my favorite topics, Sharktacons. Specifically, the Sharktacon Gnaw from the Transformers Studio 86 series, which uh, just arrived in stores in my area kind of recently. I've been waiting for this guy. I've been really looking forward to him. So let's take a look. So to start start out, we've got the package right here, and uh, we've got the Studio 86 packaging, which is okay. It's it's fine. It's black. It's very simple. Uh, doesn't nearly have the illustrative qualities that we've gotten used to seeing on the Kingdom packaging, but it's still very nice. You got a logo and a window up there. You got some legal mumbo jumbo down there, but, uh, but that's it posed shots of the guys then you know that that's pretty much it uh, it does come with a little diorama thing which is inside the box here and you can sort of see the print uh kind of nondescript it really just looks sort of like the quinison planet that uh, that they were on in Transformers the movie from 1986. So uh, enough about the packaging. Let's just set that aside here. We've got Gnaw here to chew on. And uh, so let's just go ahead and take a look right away at the robot mode. Uh, the Sharktacons have always been kind of chibi. They are cute little rotund nasty little guys they come in swarms and in hordes and uh and one sharktacon is not really a big problem it's when you have a whole army of them that they become threatening which is kind of funny considering that they are sharktacons sharks are scary just one just one is a is enough to make a movie ask steven spielberg but nonetheless, we have the Sharktacon, and uh, he is very much like his cartoon likeness. He is stout, he is well-rounded, and apparently well-fed there. <laughs> That's a Pillsbury Doughboy thing. Never mind. So he's got his uh, tail, which turns into a, uh, a flail-type thing he's got his gun and uh he's got some shark bits on his back which is fine because you know that's that that's part of his deal that's that's what we expect to see from a shark to con we we expect to see some some shark bits on the back of the head and on the back a little bit of hollowness in the back of the legs but it really doesn't look bad i mean all in all this character looks very nice in robot mode he's also well articulated we've got the head on a ball joint he can sort of look up he can sort of look down he can twist to the side a little bit even though it's a little bit stiff let me i guess I need two hands, two hands here. So we can twist the head side to side. Uh, it's a little bit tight, which I, I don't mind because uh, I prefer when the joints are a little bit tighter as opposed to being too loose. We've got uh, a ball joint at, well, not a ball joint, but it kind of functions like a ball joint. A fully articulated shoulder. We've got a swivel at the bicep. We've got an elbow that, that bends. Uh, we've got a hand that, due to the transformation, can kind of pivot in at the wrist. And uh, then we've got a fully articulated hip joint, a swivel at the thigh, a bending knee, and a, uh, a functioning ankle joint that not just bends forward and back, but also tilts to the side. So... In robot mode, he's got uh, a really nice articulation. You can get him into lots of cool poses, and there's a lot that you can do with him. Of course, we want to see the shark mode, so let's go ahead and change views here. And, of course, you take the weapons out of the hands. And then, uh, I, I guess I should have read the instructions for this guy, but... Honestly, it, it, it's just not that difficult. Uh, you're going to take the arms out and you flip it, the fists into the sides of the shark legs. I know, sharks don't normally have legs, but this one does. So, we've got the 
head and back and shark head assembly that's all on this linkage here. There's several points that it bends here and so we've got the jaw thing we've got the whole thing that bends around here that's going to come forward and then we are going to have the arms let's just swivel them back out of the way and then we're going to rotate the front and this is kind of a unique move I, I like this this is different from what i've seen in a lot of transforms and i always appreciate when they come up with new and different moves for the transform solutions and then this whole thing has uh has a hinge here there's a hinge right here that has the arms which become the shark legs and they're going to pivot what would be forward for the robot and for the shark it's actually kind of backwards and that exposes these two little pegs they are short pegs but you can see them right there and there and uh, hopefully you can see them right there yeah you can see them and then we're going to bend the legs back and they're just going to curl up and then you see how there's a little hole in the bottom of each foot right there and right there. Well, when you, when you curl these up, you're just going to peg the feet onto those little pegs right in there. And that's going to do that. And then the back part of the shark body just goes right up against the shins there. And it meets up very nicely. You see how the shapes really fit pretty well. So, so that's nice, and then we take the whole upper shark head and back, and you just close it over top of that whole leg assembly and squeeze everything together. And now, if you choose to, you can rotate the head around, which, like I said, the head is little bit stiff and there's not a whole lot of room to work with but you can do it you can do it i can do it there we go oh too far too far there we go all right and so and so there you don't have robot face just sticking out underneath the the uh, shark jaw and now it's just a matter of putting the arms which are now legs into a more shark stalking position you know something like that and then moving his skinny little shark arms into more of a kind of position you know you want it to go or, or something like that of course you have the tail weapon which just plugs right into the butt there and uh, historically i've never been a fan of Transformers toys where you have a full transformation into a creature and then you have to take the tail off and it becomes a weapon. This is something that goes back to the very earliest Shark Decons. They have they have all had this this gimmick. And on the Shark Decon, I'm going to be a little bit more forgiving because even without the tail, he still he still looks pretty much hole. Um, the, the tail helps, but, uh, you know, these things don't really look like sharks to begin with. They look more like piranha, honestly, but, uh, but I guess the name Piranacon was taken. I don't know. Um, nonetheless, uh, you know, it, it is good to have the tail there. And then they've also made the gun with this little side peg on it so that you can peg it in there. And even in his creature mode, he can hold his gun. So, so that is the guy. You can see that he's got an opening and closing mouth and the top opens and closes. Let's go ahead and put him in front of the other camera so that you can see him in all of his glory. So let's see if we can get him to stand up. Come on, stand up, gnaw. There we go, there he is. 
And uh, overall, I'd say that the shark mode looks really good. The colors are nice. Uh, we've got some good articulation in the legs, and the arm has an elbow joint and a, uh, a swivel at the shoulder. I, I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't put a ball joint at the shoulder here. I, I, I would like to be able to kind of move the arms out away from the body, you know, to, to get it into a little bit more of a kind of ah kind of thing, and instead it can only go ah. Ah, I, ah, I'm frustrated because I can't reach my claws up to scrape at you. I, he's got a little bit of a T-Rex thing going, which normally is not a bad thing, except that the whole arm thing with T-Rexes is really their weak point. So, uh, so he's got that, and uh, the other thing is you open the mouth, and there is an awful lot of robot head right there. I mean, it, it you know, the nice... The thing that you want to do with a Sharktacon, at least the, the things that I like to do with Sharktacons, is have them lunging at other characters with their mouths wide open and be like, ah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, here, like, you know, you have, you have Wheelie here, and uh, he's like, ah, and Wheelie's like, I don't see... I don't see my alarms going red because when you open your mouth, I see your head. Thank you, Wheelie. That that's great. So you know he they really didn't do anything to get rid of the headness in the middle of the body, and I realize that yeah, you know, that's probably something that also carries over from the original toy. But uh, but you know it it does kind of get in the way. Now you can just keep the keep the jaw sort of covering the head and and then only only open the top half of the mouth but it doesn't open that wide so yeah that that is that is definitely a limitation also notice that because of where the shark legs are jointed he is a little bit front heavy you see how he keeps kind of wanting to to tip forward and uh, that does make it a little bit harder to get him into the cool poses that you want because he's always trying to fall flat on his robot face because the robot face is under under here that's that 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 that's me kind of picking at that uh it's hard not to want to compare him to the titans returns shark to con nah you know, I say Sharktacon and Gnaw, and I use them interchangeably because they never really made any other Sharktacons. They're, they're just, Shar it was just Sharktacon, and there was one. He was Gnaw. Even the, even the Junkions retroactively have gotten Scrap Heap or Junkyard or, you know, they, they've had other Junkions, but we only ever got Sharktacon Gnaw. So, uh, so here is the... Titans returns gnaw and notice that yeah his head is his in there but it's hidden you know he can still open his mouth all the way you know look at that ah and now he only has a single point of articulation with his arms so you know they they also don't uh don't move at the elbows they don't pivot to the side but because of the way they're molded they are a little further away from the body which gives him a little bit more of a uh, kind of thing and of course once again they carried over the uh the tail as a weapon gimmick and that thing kind of pops out sometimes there we'll just stick it right back in there so, so there it is. Uh, we'll, we'll, let me see if I can kind of get his arm. Okay, wait here. We can, we can sort of get the arm, but there, but again, there, the hands are off to the sides. So he really looks more frustrated. Like, what's going on? Come on, I'm walking here. I'm eating robots here. What are you doing? Whereas this guy is definitely said, ah, while you're being frustrated, I am going to eat you. Yeah. And, and then he, then that happens. Also, there was a, uh, a shy, a cyberverse shark to con also named Gnaw, which was, uh, 
which was very similar to the mold on this one. Uh, the arms didn't move at all on that one, and I kit bashed it so that they would, because of course, of course I did. So nonetheless, uh, bottom line is this guy's not bad. He is certainly not bad uh, because he is a deluxe class, so a little bit of a higher price point than, than say, the, uh, the Titans Returns one was. Then it's a little bit harder to do army building with this guy unless you want to, you know, spend, spend like, 50 bucks for two, 75 bucks for three. I mean, that, you know, it starts getting pricey for a, uh, for a mold that in shark to in shark mode is, uh, is a little bit awkward. Yeah. That, that's, that's the problem with him. His shark mode is just kind of awkward. You got, you know, the, the jaw is, is kind of loose. Uh, at least the one on mine is kind of loose. The head is right, right there. It's just, it's, you can't, you can't ignore the head in the mouth. Um, it, and the, uh, the, uh, the shark arms are a little bit awkward. So, so yeah, the, yeah, and I feel like with, with any shark decon toy, the shark mode is what's going to sell it because the robot modes have always been, you know, little, little stubby guys. I mean, you know, cute little rotund guys that look like they're kind of overfed. And, uh, and you know, while they have personality, you're, what, you, what you're going for is that moment that they go from looking like, oh, you know, it's just a little uh, short little punchy guy. Oh, yeah, you know, maybe I bet his belly. He'd be okay. I don't know. And then suddenly he turns into a, a piranha-like shark monster and eats your face. And, and and that's what I want from from my shark to con. And, and this guy looks like he'd trip over his belly when he tries to eat your face. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I I would say that for a uh, for a Gen One Transformers enthusiast such as myself, you 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 do want him. He's a good toy, and he's not a bad value at the price point and size that he is at. But do you want to buy two or three so that you have hordes of Sharktacons? I'm going to say probably not. Uh, I, 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 I can tell you right now, even though... Uh, thank you, Blarg. Uh, you know, what do you think? Uh, whatever. Was was that the appropriate response? Okay, thank you, thank you. So, um, so yeah, I, I'll tell you that for my money, uh, yeah, I've already got the Titans Returns Sharkticon. I got the Pit of Judgment, which has a recolor of this guy. If I get the opportunity to see these again for a uh, for a reasonable price, then I will probably pick up more of them because these they're, they're just like angry little Pac-Men and they're 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 cute and also a little bit well more well balanced and a little bit uh, more play play worthy. Just a little bit more play worthy. So yeah, that's it. Not not bad. Not the best. Worth it? Sure. Worth getting several? Probably not. So, that's it. Uh, we are a small channel, so if you have not already, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you know when we're doing more of these short circuits videos, as well as our live streams, which typically happen on Friday nights, Eastern United States time at 8 o'clock. Other than that, this is Clay telling you, yes you, to keep it retro bot. Yeah, we got Sharkticons, and uh, it's uh, pretty cool. Not quite as cool as I was hoping it would be, but still pretty cool. Mm, I guess it's, but it's a Sharkticon, and, you know, if it's a shark, I mean, you know, a robot that turns into a shark should kind of be awesome, and he's not necessarily awesome, he's just pretty cool. So, I guess I kind of beat that point to death. Let it go now.